Hey y'all, this is Sarah. I'm going to give a reading for the Twin Flame Collective. I'm in my sister's room, which used to be my room. Staying for the week here to visit my family on the East Coast. There's a lot of beautiful things she has, like this love with the earth as the O patch. I have a couple of candles lit. We're going to start with masculine's energy right now. Saving money, holding on to finances, also holding on to love. This beautiful love, overflowing amounts of love for the feminine. Um, there's a karma situation. What's this about? Oh, he's moving away from it. Moving away from karmic connections actively. I think it's inspired by this love. That's what I feel. Yes. Answer yes. The sun. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Very positive. Very happy. And that's what's inspiring this ending to come into place. This happiness is um, helping him release these other connections that were not serving his highest interest. So the battle was won. Walking away from that. Picking up the pieces. So there is a bit of a pause in the energy at this time as that um, process takes place. Yeah. Moving away from emotional situations. <laughs> And that's maybe shocking, maybe shocking to a lot of people, um, this transformation. I feel it's an, a tower he's putting into place um, actively and intentionally. There's big changes ahead. Um, but he's the emperor. <laughs> that's what's on the bottom there, the emperor himself. Like, he's definitely in charge of the situation and he's orchestrating it. And it's going according to plan. That's what keeps coming to me, according to plan. Beautiful. Let's see what the feminine has to say. I look to my right and there's like a crown painting. So that's cool. Some beautiful drawings. Um, we're doing a baby shower for me this week. So on Saturday. Oh, flipping out is passion. Very horny energy there for the feminine. So we went shopping for like a dress for the baby shower. It's fun. <laughs> She's also doing the same walking away from that past situation. Yes, very, very confidently, very um, decisively in the chariot energy. She knows the direction she's meant to go in. There is some pessimism here. So what's this regarding? Um, this hermit mode that she is kind of forced to be in at this time. Like I feel at least with me, um, as a feminine energy, I'm a very social person. I'm an extrovert, so I like to be around a lot of people. But this is a time when the feminine needs to be going within, and that's making her a little bit kind of sad. But she's keeping that, like, kind of to herself as well, um, doing that inner work that's necessary. And she's using her intuition. She's coming into her psychic abilities even stronger than ever in the high priestess energy. I just love these pillar candles my sister has here. It's like... <laughs> Very beautiful, beautiful, but I can't talk. Um, definitely seeing the, fem the masculine energy as a king of cups, but also as a king of rods. So like huge heart, also maybe like a very sexual energy, very confident, very playful. Um, this is her justice, um, her karmic justice having this connection in her life because um, she earned it. <laughs> like, she deserves it as she's the empress and she knows it. Look at that, beautiful. She um, She's wearing her crown. She's showing her people who she truly is um, and releasing herself from the past bondage situations. Karma used to leave her feeling stuck and tied up and she's walking away from that now. And she, she has an abundance to give to others, giving back to others at this time. Bottom of the deck for her is a um, nine of wands, which is a bit of fear. So that's something she's working on in that hermit mode is releasing the fear regarding her own happiness even um, because of the, the heartbreak she's faced so many times in the past. Um, also coming through is her emperor, like helping her through this, helping her to release that fear and giving her the strength to do so. Um, it's a really inspirational energy here. He's 
He's giving her more confidence. That's beautiful. Cool. That's the reading today. I hope you guys have a beautiful Thanksgiving. If I don't talk to you before then, um, I likely will do another reading maybe on Thanksgiving. So, love you. Bye.